when this country was very young, one of the first homegrown legends was Daniel Boone, who blazed the trail into what later became Kentucky. Well, right now, Angeline Hartman has the story of another Kentucky legend named Boone, who's famous for blazing something other than trails. There's been a lot of stuff paid, you know, paid for and bought by moonshine. Have you ever drank any moonshine? I don't think I've ever drank it. Well, don't never drink it unless you put it in a saucer and light it. It'll burn real pretty blue. If it don't, don't mess with it because it's poison. In this swath of southwestern Kentucky, they still talk about moonshiners and revenuers. It's almost as if each generation's dabbled slightly in, in the criminal element. Taking with them a deep suspicion of law enforcement and their efforts to control the local vices. Most of those that are involved in marijuana uh, will tell you their great-grandfather was a moonshiner. Marijuana. With so much open land in the bluegrass state, pot growers are everywhere, hiding their crops beneath power lines or camouflaging them in cornfields. Don't say no, just say grow. You got a good picture of it? He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and herb for the service of man that he may bring forth food out of the earth. God gave us the seed to grow the weed. And locals say no one in Kentucky is better at growing that weed than Johnny Boone, also known as the king of pot and the godfather of grass. So therefore I see that Johnny Boone has never broken the laws of the big book. Only mankind. There ain't nothing bad I can say about the man. In places like Springfield, where Abraham Lincoln's parents married at the downtown courthouse, Boone's neighbors describe him as a venerable Santa Claus. He helps out the community, donates money, helps people who need money, you know. He's a good guy. He ain't no, he ain't no hardened criminal like all those other guys. Not according to the troopers who fly all over Kentucky, searching for hidden marijuana crops from the air, then hiking for miles through rough terrain to destroy them. You can see where these plants are, they have a long root on them, so they've been here a while. And basically the eradication process is just that, picking it up and then we take a machete, chop it up into small pieces and discard it out here on the property. Even so, authorities know there's always another crop close by, growing, just like Johnny Boone's legacy. What he's done is he has cultivated thousands of pounds of marijuana that he's distributed nationwide. Becoming a superstar in a criminal syndicate that law enforcement calls the Cornbread Mafia. They were actually distributing to Cuba, Jamaica, um, a lot of the island places off the coast of Florida. But this is more than a story about the war on drugs. According to police, Johnny Boone isn't just a good-hearted pot-growing Robin Hood, but a bipolar bar-brawling crime boss whose closest associates seem to end up dead. Through different interviews, you find out a lot about Johnny Boone that a lot of people don't know, and I'm sure he doesn't want anybody to know. For example, here's Boone's 250-acre homestead. It looks peaceful from the air, but he embellished the property with animal bones, allegedly as an ominous warning to potential pot thieves. I've heard that he had rattlesnakes uh, in the marijuana fields with the rattlers cut off so they wouldn't uh, give a signal before they attacked. He loved his rottweiler. He's been known to cut the vocal cords on the rottweilers, and uh, he would starve them, so that way they'd become quite vicious and they could sneak right up on behind you and get, grab a hold of you before you know it. In reality, it's hard to figure out exactly what occurred on the farm, since pot thieves don't talk, and Boone and his admirers claim to live by Omerta, the code of silence long invoked by Italian-American mobsters. They don't feed us rat poisons because we're not rats. We won't, we won't say nothing on each other. What cops say is Boone imported seeds from as far away as the old Soviet Union and Afghanistan breeding plants that yielded a more potent high and transporting his product in ways that were both ingenious and disgusting. Apparently there's a special place you can cut on a cow where you can remove certain chunks of fat. They would tightly wrap the marijuana 
enclose it inside the cow, sew the cow back up so nobody could see it, and ship the cattle across the United States. In 1981, Boone apparently learned police were planning to raid his property. Cops say he immediately jumped into his pickup and gunned it at a group of officers, leading them on a long chase through Kentucky's back roads. In the meantime, the whole entire marijuana grow was removed. And when the state police and stuff went out there to raid that farm, there was nothing to be found but a large empty plot. The incident inspired a local singer to compose this ode to Marion County's most famous outlaw. John Robert Boone is the man made his living off of God's gracious land. But in 1987, the law caught up with Boone when he was sentenced to 20 years for growing nearly 200 tons of pot, worth more than a billion dollars by today's standards, with Johnny behind bars, his son Jeff allegedly ran the operation, spending some $200,000 to build himself a home next to his father's. When Johnny was released from jail, he was not happy with Jeff at all for using that money. After one argument, cops say, Jeff was found with a gunshot wound to the head. And it's officially ruled a suicide. But you never know. I mean, you are dealing with Johnny Boone. Three years later, Boone's girlfriend, Rosa, gave birth to another son. Police say Johnny was overjoyed, believing the boy to be the reincarnation of Jeff. The relationship with his mother, though, would soon end badly. Johnny had a falling out with Rosa. She threatened him with going to the police with the information she knew that could incriminate him. Next thing you know, her parents are getting a phone call saying that Rosa hung herself in a barn. In May 2008, while flying over Boone's property, troopers say they spotted more than 2,000 marijuana plants. Given his past criminal history, Boone was now facing life behind bars. Immediately after the arrest warrant came out for Johnny, um, he kind of went on a drinking binge. It was a non-stop drinking. Since that point, Johnny Boone's been on the run from the law. And more than a few local citizens have been spotted in this T-shirt, urging Boone to keep running. If he would have uh, run against Obama, you'd have Johnny Boone for president. Is that right? Yep. Yep. That many supporters, huh? He, yeah, he, he would have had a bunch of them. They won't catch Johnny. He's got too many friends. I'm being truthful with you. They might as well be looking for a ghost. Of course, Johnny Boone is no ghost. Cops say he's a violent, unpredictable fugitive. Boone is a vegetarian, fond of Native American rituals. He can remain sober for long periods of time, but when he drinks, cops say he's a mean, menacing man. If you know where Johnny Boone is tonight, please call our hotline at 1-800-CRIME-TV. Now, as you heard Angeline say, Boone follows a code of silence used by Italian-American mobsters called Omerta. And here in Boone's own flowery handwriting is his interpretation of the code. Right here he writes, always have a clear view of right and wrong, to do right without reserve. Well, what's clear is that Boone doesn't take this very seriously. Now we know he looks a lot like Santa Claus, but we also know that cops say he's a deadly, ruthless drug lord. They say he's highly intelligent and speaks fluent Spanish. He may own an airplane as well as property in Belize. So if you know where he's hiding, please don't be afraid to come forward. Call 1-800-CRIME-TV with your tip. And I give you my word, you can remain anonymous. Do the right thing, give us that tip. Coming up, he seemed to have a big heart, but he also had a big, disgusting secret. See how you exposed him for what he is and how you can help put him where he belongs.